She's thin, just over 5 foot 10 and 119 pounds. That makes her a natural for the waif look which swept fashion last year. But Dietering is determined to change as fashion does. She's now glowing with health and happy that she's part of the new, glamorous mood for models. I like to think I can do pretty much anything. I mean, I'm 5'10 and a half and like taller, so I think I fit in with both like the younger looking girls and the older looking girls. That determination and focus helped Dietering overcome her initial shyness. I'm just a very quiet person. I don't talk a lot unless I feel like I have something worthwhile to say. But in this business, you know, if you're quiet and you're sitting there, they think you're shy and they want to see your personality. I think it took me a long time to learn how to show myself. I'm more confident and I want people to know me now. I, I'm not shy to go in and talk to them. Dietering started modeling six years ago in her hometown of Aurora, Oregon, after being discovered in high school. Local modeling jobs led to work in Tokyo, then Paris, before she settled in New York with her Australian... We got married last July, so we both moved here last March, and um, neither one of us had ever really worked here before. Didn't know what to expect, and it's turned out really well. Dietering is striding towards superstardom. She's working constantly, both in print and on the runway. Once I got some like Italian glamour and Italian vogue. I started being seen more. That's when I started getting a lot of work. Which do you prefer? I like to have the balance of the two. What do you eventually want to do? Um, I'm not sure. Like, I have a lot of interests. I haven't really decided which thing I want to pursue, but I, I think I'd like to get into acting. But you're determined to go on modeling till it really is no more fun. Yeah, until I don't enjoy it anymore. I mean, I don't know how long that'll be, but right now it's it's been really good to me and I enjoy it. What are your hobbies? I like to write. Um, I read a lot. I basically like to just relax when I'm at home. I go home and I take out my paints and start painting or I'll draw. I've just started um, learning how to read palms. It's a really personal thing. <laughs> I was interested in it to learn my own hand, to see what was on my own hand. There's a lot of really obvious things that you can tell about people from their hands. That's model Debbie Dietery. Coming up the